Let us say amen as we rise to our feet to honor the reading of the word of God. Again, happy resurrection morning to those who are virtual as well as those of you who are visible. Amen. We have already started our celebration. Amen. And we invite you to the continuation. Amen. 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 We're going to go back to the Gospel of John. Okay. The Gospel of John in the 20th chapter. You can help me read the first eight verses this morning. I just want to pick up verse 1 and 2. <clears throat> and then I'm going to drop down to verse 19 through oh, somewhere around 29. I'll be reading from the King James Version of the Holy Writ. Amen. And I pray whatever version you have is similar to the words you'll hear yes, sir. this morning. It's good to see our family here on Amen. Resurrection. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. It does a preacher's heart well. Yes, sir. When he sees the family. Yes, there. sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. This is our First opportunity to try to sign on to our YouTube page. So Amen. give me a second. And we're going to try to have them go live with us. And if it be the Lord's will, they will. And Amen. Not, we'll work on it again later. Somebody say. Amen. 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 One day I'm not going to be the person doing it. Amen, this. amen. The Lord's going to have someone come. Amen. And they will do this for us. Let our family come yes. on. Amen. amen. We're going to press our way on. Amen. 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 And we'll trust the Lord to do what he does. <clears throat> From the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 1 and 2, then we'll drop down to chapter, I mean, verse 19 through 29. Amen. The first day of the week come of Mary Magdalene early, early when it was yet dark unto the sepulcher and seeth the stone taken Hello. away yes, from the sepulcher. Yeah. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter oh. and to the other disciples uh -huh. yes, sir. to whom Jesus loved yes. and saith unto them they have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, yes, and we know not where they have laid him. Oh, Lord. Let us drop down to verse 19, mm -hmm. and it says, Then, then. The, same. the same day, mm -hmm. at evening, mm -hmm. being the first day of the week, yes, yes, sir. When the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled, yes. what? For fear of the Jews yes, came Jesus oh, and stood in the midst and yes. said unto them, Peace yes. be unto you. Yes. And when he had said so, he showed unto them yes. his hands yes. and his side. Yes. Then were the disciples glad mm. when they saw the Lord. Yes. Then he said unto them, Again, yes. peace yes. be unto you. Yes. As my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. Yes. Yes. And when he had said this, he breathed on them yes. and yes. said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Somebody ought to say amen. And whosoever sins ye remit, they shall be remitted. Unto them, and whosoever sins ye retain, why? They are yet retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen 
Yes, the Lord. Yes, yes. But he said unto them, except I shall see his hand first. The prince of the nail put my finger into the print of the nail and thrust my hand into his side. I will not, I will not believe. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within. And Thomas said, and Thomas with him. Then came Jesus, yes, sir. Yes, the sir. doors being shut, yes, yes, and sir. stood in the midst and said, Peace, Peace. be unto you. Uh -huh. Then saith he to Thomas, yes, sir. <laughs> Reach hither thy finger, yeah. <laughs> and behold my hand, yeah. and reach hither thy hand, and thrust into my son. My yeah. Lord, my Lord. And be not faithless. Yes, sir. Be not faithless, yes, but believe. Yes, Lord. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my Lord. and my God. Yeah. And Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, yeah. thou believe. Yes. Blessed. Okay, here's your invitation yeah, yeah, to the room. Yeah, yeah. Blessed. Bless. bless. Say it with me. Say bless. bless. Are they that have not seen? That's right. That's right. Yes, yet yes, believe. Yes, yes. God our Father, thank you for your word. Yes, thank you for your people. Yes, but Lord. most of all, thank you for your presence. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Holy Spirit, move in this place as only you can. Yes, Break the shackles yes. and free the slaves. Yes. Yes. That we may lead to become servants. Yes. Lord, how we love you, we yes. thank you. Yes. And it's most of all that we stand to declare that the grass withers, yes. the flower fades, yes. but the word of God is in everlasting and eternal. Yes. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Boy, it feels good to be in church today. Amen. It feels good yes, it to be in church today. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Mother Bobby Huntley was here. She said, Pastor, I should have brought a sack lunch. <laughs> and I would have told her, no, Mother, we're going to go home and eat a good meal. And Deacon Hart, I'm going to have me a ginger ale. All right. <laughs> Deacon Hart doesn't like ginger ale. But I gave up soda for the 40 days of the Lenten season. And I'm going to wash it down with a nice candy bar. Amen. This particular pericope of scripture that we find in our presence on this day from the 20th chapter is the first time where I can find in the Holy Writ that the disciples who have ran and hid Yes, because of the issues that happened on Good Friday. Yes, sir. Here is where I find them assembled and it is the first time that I see in the text that after the upper room discourse, yes. the conversation on the way to Gethsemane where Jesus, after girding himself with the towel and bowing to wash the yes, feet sir. of the disciples, where he demonstrates his consummate servitude to mankind on the way to his desired destination across on Calvary. I see Jesus who stops in John 14 and he tells him of his desire and direction. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place yes, sir. for you, yes, sir. I will come again and receive you unto yes, myself. Yes, Why, Jesus, that where I am, yes. he may be also. Thank you. I'm glad that it didn't mean that I had to hang on the cross. Because he went on to say that in my father's house, yes, there are many men. Yes. And I'm glad about that. Jesus' discourse with the Jewish leaders 
in John in the second chapter should have been an indicator. If you have your Bible, look with me at John the second chapter, verse 18 and 19. Uh, this lets me know that Jesus knew early that he had work to do. Uh -huh. And last week we said that the crowd never changed his course. Right. It says, then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou us, seeing that thou doest these things? Uh -huh. And you have to read the upper part. I'm not going to read it all for you, but I'm going to tell you what Jesus said when they asked him this question. Jesus answered and said unto them, destroy this temple. And in three days, I will rise it up. Am I clear right here? Jesus understood that there would be some suffering on his journey. But that he was settled to stay in his journey. The first thing when I look at the disciples, just like I look it up, I, I see my first point, and you can write this down. That then in verse 24 in the A clause, it said, being the same day at Eve, being the first day of the week when the doors were shut yes, sir. where the disciples were. Yes, uh, uh, the first thing I see is they are holding on to their facts. Wow. All right. uh, where do you get that from? Because in verse 1, we find that they went to the Gravesite. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they realized that Jesus wasn't there. Yes. They forgot what he had said in chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Can I help somebody to let go of some facts you may be holding today? That, that, that the reason that we hold on to some bad facts uh -huh. is because we have some weak faith. Oh. 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 It's getting tight up here on the Easter Sunday. Uh, Reverend, you didn't have to do all that on Easter morning. You, you know that, that, that that's not how this thing should go down, especially not on Easter morning. That, that we have to begin to understand what God is saying to his people, that God is speaking to us so that we have a greater understanding of what he's talking about. I, I, I love John's gospel because it's a majestic gospel. Oh, yeah. We have encountered many glorious portraits of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We have seen his heart of compassion on display. Where he, where he healed the sick. We've seen his power revealed when he raised the dead, uh -huh. fed the hungry. Yeah. We have seen his grace revealed as he saved sinners like you and I. Yeah. Every yeah. portrait that he paints in the chapter gives to us an encouragement yes, sir. that we should not just be holding on to some old facts. Yes, yeah. you, you, you do know John, don't you? John is the beloved disciple. Yeah. John is the one that will write a gospel, yes, sir. two letters, and then will show up and write the closing book wow. of Revelation. Right. Yeah. John was a disciple that opens the door to allow us to see behind the scene. Yeah. John does not begin this gospel with the birth or baptism as Matthew, Mark, and Luke would. Yeah. John's gospel unveils the discourse of creation. Yes, sir. John 1 says, in the beginning yeah. was the Word, yeah. and the Word was with God, uh -huh. and the Word was God. Yeah. The same was in the beginning with God. Yeah. All things were made by yeah. Him, yeah. and without Him was not anything yeah. made yeah. that was made. Yeah. He went on to say that in Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Yeah. John presses the point saying the light shineth in the dark. Yes. And the darkness comprehended not. I love John's gospel because it is a mirror of Genesis. And on our journey of a lifetime, we looked at Genesis. And Genesis says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, God said let, let there let be light. Yeah. And there was light. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. I, I, I like John's gospel. That's all I'm trying to take. This, this, this is to undoubtedly and undeniably show Jesus, the Son of God, yeah. 
and the master builder of the universe. Yes. Jesus is the one who like took Legos and built mountains and took his hand like a spoon and scooped out seeds and oats. Yes, you don't yes. hear me today. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. John's desire is for us to realize who this Jesus is. Yes. So John gives us seven. I am. Somebody say amen. amen. He lets us know that Jesus in the sixth chapter would say, I am I the am. bread of life. Yeah. As bread sustains our physical life, Christ offers to sustain your spiritual life. Yeah. Am I clear up in here? Yeah. And then the second time he says, I'm not only bread, but I'm the light of the world. Yeah. In John 8 and 12. The world is lost today in darkness, Reverend Chair. Yeah. But Christ offers himself as the guiding light. Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking about the soap opera mama used to oh, watch. God. He says, I am the door of the sheep in John yeah. 10. Yeah. Jesus is letting us know that through him we have access yes, to the Father. Yeah. Then he says, and I love this one in John 11 and 25. I am the resurrection. Yeah. And the life. Yeah. That lets me know dying, death is not the final word for me today. Yeah. Then he goes on to say, I am the good shepherd. Yeah. Jesus is committed and caring and watching over us today. Yeah. That's what Mama told you to say, the Lord is, the Lord is. my shepherd. Yes. And I shall not want. Yeah. Jesus stops. I got to get on down the road a bit. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus lets us know he is my compass, my source, yeah. and he is the knowledge of all truth. Yeah. Am I clear up in here? Yeah. And then the last time he says, I am the true vine, yeah. which suggests there might be some fake vines around. Oh, really? By attaching ourselves to Christ, we are enabled yeah. to have life and life more abundantly. Yeah. Am I clear yeah. up in here? Yeah. I'm glad that Jesus is letting us know that it's time for you and I to let go of some stuff. Yeah. We're, we're holding on to some facts yes, that we need to let go of. Amen. Last week we talked about, and I want to pick up that thought about you are there mm. from the show that Walter Cronkite was the narrator of. Mm -hmm. So I would call this You Are There Part two. All right. And if I was going to give you a subtext to it, you are there for a reason, and here's the reason. Oh. You have an appointment after Easter. Yes. yes. Amen. All right. Amen. Right now. Too many of y'all missed that. Amen. You have an appointment yes. after Easter. Yes. I I'll prove it to you from this text we just read. Yeah. Oh, on this day that is set aside to acknowledge that the sun rose before sunrise. Uh -huh. well, what I'm trying to tell you is your arrival here this morning is a testament to his victory over death, hell, and the grave. Yeah. Yeah. The question stands staring every born again Christian. What do I do now? Can I suggest for each of us that have arrived here this morning that you have an appointment? After Easter, Amen. you are here for a purpose, and you came here. Some of us holding on to some fact. At twenty-first verse, it says, "Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were." The New Living Translation, the translation that Sister, I just looked to make sure that was really her. Shade luster love. <laughs> It says that Sunday evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors oh. because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly, Jesus was standing there among them. Yes, sir. And his word to them was four words, peace be with you. The New Living Translation, the Huntley's version says on the evening of the first day of 